guys, it's Erin aka TNR's Mommy and um, today we're going to be doing a video about some foods that I've tried. Yeah, so I'm going to just give you a little review of them and um, let you know how um, they were, good or bad. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> here first of all we're going to um, just give a little update um, for those of you maybe just tuning in for the first time my name is Erin and I had gastric sleeve surgery on October 5th of 2016 um, at my highest weight I was 293 the day of surgery I was 256 and today finally within the last week I've gotten under 200 as we call Wonderland and I am at 197.6 today so I'm super excited to be out of the 200s it's been over 16 years and um, I'm hoping to just keep going down uh, I was nine months on July 5th and I do have an appointment with my surgeon next month for my 10 month post-op appointment and I know that he had said he wanted me anywhere between 170 and 190, that that was the average um, uh, weight for my height, which is 5'6". I'm really hoping to be below that. That just, to me, seems so high still. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's been super slow weight loss-wise since January, so um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, also, as you know, my hair is down for once. Um, I've been having migraines, as I mentioned in my last video, uh, for the last like three to four weeks, and I cannot get in to get an appointment to refill my meds until um, July 20th. And with this doctor, he has not seen me for my migraine medication, so I have to be seen. So it's just ridiculous. And leaving my hair down actually seems to relieve some uh, pressure on my head. I was put up in a bun, as you guys know, because of my alopecia but um, it actually feels better when I leave it down. So I just decided to leave it down today. So anyhow, so let's go ahead and get started on the reviews here of what was good and what was not good. So one of my favorite stores is GNC and we have one in the mall over here by us and I do like to go there often uh, because I love the Lynn and Larry's peanut butter cookies and they sell them there. Uh, peanut butter is my favorite. So I do go there, and I did just go there. I'm searching for the Len and Larry's pumpkin flavored cookie that somebody told me about, um, but I cannot find it anywhere. And the person that told me about it said they were at 24 Hour Fitness, but I don't have 24 Hour. I have Planet Fitness. So, and he was just a random worker at Circle K when I took my kids for their Polar Pop freezes. So he had told me, asked me, because I was buying a peanut butter cookie there. So he had told me the pumpkin ones were good and I love pumpkin. So I'm searching everywhere for it. So I went to GNC. Yeah, I get there and there had been somebody that had come in and bought the whole box. So now I have to wait. So anyhow, so GNC is our first location of items. And I didn't like this, but it was on clearance for 99 cents. And so I decided to try it. It's a Quest Beyond Cereal Protein Bar in Cinnamon Roll flavor. This is it. I'll give it a chance, make sure it's focused in on it. Um, the total fat is four and a half. Uh, carbs are 17, sugars are eight, and protein is 12. I just wanted to try these because I'm not a big breakfast person and I'm kind of uh, protein shaped out a little bit right now. So I just thought I'm gonna get one of these and try it out and see, but this had such a like medicine-y like vitamin-y taste that I took one bite and I could not eat any more. Um, usually when I don't like something I give it to my son because he likes to eat stuff this type of stuff. He didn't like it either so we threw it away. It was disgusting. It was only 99 cents so it's not that bad but I did not like it. Um, these are gluten-free though and hey more power to you if you want to try it. Um, there are 110 calories and I thought for sure cinnamon roll flavor would be awesome, but it was not. So I did get another one and I'm scared to try it for the same thing. It's uh, waffle flavor and I thought, ooh, waffles, I haven't had those in about almost a year. So um, same stats on this one also. So I don't know, I'll give it a try one bite and see what happens. I just don't like that like too protein-y 
too much protein type taste or if it tastes like vitamin E or medicine, I guess medicine flavored like because that's exactly what it tasted like. So hopefully that other one will be good and yeah. All right. So the next one is also purchased from GNC. Um, I hadn't tried this one, and so it was on Clarence also for a dollar. I decided to try it. It's the Lynn and Larry's Oatmeal Raisin. Yeah, I didn't like this flavor either. I'm so picky about these cookies. I only like two flavors. Um, this is two servings. This cookie is huge. The entire package is the cookie, and I eat half at a time. Um, sometimes I just take a little piece off, and that's it. Um, they're really filling. Um, 180 calories, 4 fat, uh, 28 carbs, 12 sugar, and 8 proteins. So it's not like an everyday thing. Um, it is vegan. No dairy, no eggs, no soy. Um, no high fructose, corn syrup, fat, trans fat, cholesterol. I mean, it's, they're really good, but I don't like this flavor. <laughs> so that was at GNC. Um, this one though I got at Walmart and I do like this one so now I have two that I like. This one is Snickerdoodle and it really does taste just like a Snickerdoodle cookie. Um, so that's this one. These are I think $1.58 at Walmart. Um, at GNC normally they're $2.50 or $1.89. Oh they're $2.50 at Circle K when we go there sometimes. That's what it is. So same stats on this one. Um, this one was good. So, so far the peanut butter and the snickerdoodle are my favorite. Yeah. So, okay. Next thing is, I bought this at Safeway. We have $5 Fridays every Friday at Safeway. And so there's a huge clearance rack and I always look on there because sometimes there's really good stuff. Well, I found this and it is Campbell's Oven Sauces Classic Roasted Chicken. It was, um... 50% off, so it was only $2. All you do is just add the chicken and the vegetables, which is either potatoes or sweet potatoes and carrots. It's 40 calories, um, three sugar, one and a half fat. And this is what it looks like. All you do is place it in a 13 by nine by two baking dish. You put the chicken in there, which it says eight skinless. I think I used like four or five. And you cook it for 45 minutes with the potatoes or whatever you choose to put in there and put the sauce on. It was really good. It was like a pot, pot roast, but chicken. That's what it tasted like. It was really good. And it's not too bad for you. So um, I would get this again. And um, I love this type of stuff. Um, I'm so big on sauces for chicken because I don't like plain stuff. And if I can find one that's not too many calories or too much fat or anything in it, I'm down. It only has five carbs, so yeah, it was really good. I would get that again. The next one, also a Safeway purchase. These were a dollar, and I think I've mentioned these before. I keep these in my purse when I'm out and about and I'm starving or I start to get my acid reflux like pain here because I haven't eaten, that's what happens to me. Um, I just grab one of these out. Um, it's Open Nature Trail Mix Nuts, Fruit, and Honey. And these are, this is what it looks like. These are 110 calories. There is, or 190, I'm sorry, 190 calories. Uh, 12 fat, carbs are 18, sugar's 12, protein six. So I don't get these too often because of the sugar and the carbs, but it's just nice to have something in my purse when I do get that feeling where I need to eat something and I know I need to eat something. Um, give me one second, let me let the dog in. Sorry guys, she will keep jumping on that door if I don't let her in. Okay, the next thing is, I got these at Walmart. I don't know how I came across these. I think somebody in one of the support groups posted them or something, but these are so good. So it's, the brand is Flapjacked, and it's a Mighty Muffin with probiotics. This one is s'mores flavored. All you do is add water to the mix, stir it and microwave it for 35, like 35 to 45 seconds I've noticed. It has 20 grams of protein. So this is what it is. It's gluten free oat flour, whey uh, protein isolate and it also pea protein. Um, it's 210 calories for these. Six, six fat, 24 carbs, 10 sugar, and 20 protein. Um, I don't eat these too often, 
but I did try them because they look so good and I really like muffins. <laughs> bread. I love bread. But anyhow, these are really good. You just stir it up. It's a powder inside. You stir it up. You add a quarter cup of water and you put it in the microwave for like 35 to 45 seconds and it's a muffin inside here. And then all I do is I put a slit in the center and I add a little bit of butter. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, they are kind of filling, I've noticed. I also tried this peanut butter one. It's got the same stats. Um, but it's so good. I love these. They're $2.54 at Walmart, so it's kind of high, but um, I have another one. I have another one up there, but I can't see it to tell you what flavor it is. I think it's like dark chocolate or something like that. But these are so good. Um, Walmart is where I found these. Um, I did see these at GNC also. I forgot to look at the price though. Another thing here is my kids do not eat veggies. It's like really awful. Um, and so I was trying to find a way to get veggies um, without them knowing and this worked great. It's a pasta and it's veggie pasta. It's one full serving of vegetables per 3.5 ounce portion. And what it is, is it's made of 25% puree from real zucchini and spinach. It provides wholesome veggies in every bite. And it tastes just like pasta. No hint of veggie whatsoever. I made this for my kids and they had no, this is what it looks like, they had no clue that vegetables were in it. I couldn't even believe it. So, um, yeah, I'll be getting this again. It, I try not to eat. I don't eat pasta actually because it's really bad. Um, it makes me full fast. Um, and there's a ton of carbs. I did have a little bit of this, but it was maybe like a quarter cup, maybe not even that, with some uh, uh, pasta sauce on it. But there's one gram of fat in here and eight protein and then a ton of carbs. I don't even want to say how many carbs are in here, but that's why I only had a little bit. But hey, if I can get if I can get the kids to eat their veggies by this, I'm down. And they told me to buy it again, so I'm totally going to buy it again. Yeah, so and I'm just going to show you a couple things I got at GNC. I went crazy that day that I went there. So here's my favorite. Of course, I had to get another one of these, the peanut butter. It's my, oh, I love these. We're going camping this weekend, so I had to get a couple snacks to bring for me. Um, this is a sample of Quest. It's just a one serving Quest protein powder, which is what I use. Um, that's the protein powder that I use. And this is cinnamon crunch flavor, which is really good. Um, and the thing is with me is that um, normally in my protein uh, drinks, I use uh, protein nut milk or unsweetened almond milk. Um, but um, with that, it makes it shake really, really thick, like it, extremely thick. So um, my, my thing, I don't really like water in my shakes as I had to do pre-op. And so I tried to find a shake that actually tasted good with water. And I did mix this with the water and it was actually good. And it wasn't thick, it was thinner, of course. But it, it, it really tasted good. This one is 100 calories, 15, oh no. 100 calories, 1.5 fat, excuse me, 20 protein, and total carbs is five. So yeah, um, sometimes I mix these. I have this little like um, shake blender type thing. It's like just enough serving size, you know, for these shakes. And I put this in there with the water and the ice, and then you get like a frappe type thing. So yeah, and it's less than one gram of sugar also. So this is highly recommended. I think these are like 179 or 189 or something like that at GNC. Yeah, and they do have whey protein isolates. So yeah, so I like those. The other flavor is salted caramel, which is really good also. Um, this one probably has similar, no fat on this one. Um, 100 calories. Protein is 22, less than one gram of sugar. And where's the carbs? Uh, three, yeah. So this one is good also. So I'm probably gonna take these this weekend camping and just add some water to it for my breakfast. So those are really good. I think that that is it. Yeah, that's it for today on the um, review of the, as they call them empties. I see a lot of uh, people that do these call them empties. It's just kind of, especially for the newer people that are just either pre-op or just had the surgery, stuff to find that, you know, we don't all know about prior to surgery. Um, that's how I find out about a lot of my foods to try is by watching other people's YouTube videos or in support groups. They mention these things and then I go out and find it. 
so um, it's super super helpful so I thought that when I find something you know I'll just let you guys know about it and then you can find it and purchase it and hopefully you like it too so um, yeah so sorry we missed Friday on the video I've been running around crazy for our next two vacations that are coming up and I just did not have time to do a video so I'm a little late and I do apologize for that so um, yeah that is all that I have for today um, if you are new please make sure you subscribe and um, yeah and if you do have a YouTube channel let me know about it because I would love to check it out uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up on this video and if you have any um, comments or suggestions or anything of the sort go ahead and leave that down below I will link all of these items in the video um, in the description so that you can check them out if you need to and of the stores that I did find them at so um, yeah so hope you guys like the video I will talk to you guys later and see you next Friday bye